the shuttle uh, for this kit, I'm going to do another video on it, but I actually gave up on the shuttle. And I'll show it to you here. And you'll have to mine the decals um, and the crappy putty job. This was the Airfix Orbiter that came with it. There's some good things about it, but there's more bad things about it than good. Um, and I abandoned this and uh, I, I solved that problem by buying another shuttle. But this, this Airfix kit had a lot of problems. Um, the positive, it has some nice surface detail. The RCS modules in the front, um, not every shuttle has the actual um, detail. Focus, sorry guys. So these RCS modules here, that detail was, was done. Um, they had surface detail on the actual kit itself, which I'll bring up in another video, uh, which we'll talk about when we talk about these decals, these ugly decals you're seeing. Um, the, the, the bad is the assembly. Um, let's see if I can get it here. You see that? That's a lot of putty, and still you can see it. There were huge gaps in this model huge gaps and this is me not finishing i would never leave it like this but this was me just abandoning it and giving up um the bay doors on this um maybe i'll i'll show you the i'll, I'll show you the bay doors on this so the bay doors uh were the point where i gave up on the kit uh, or on this shuttle there's no hinges on these doors. I checked, they're not broken off, they just weren't manufactured with hinges. There's no hinges. They want you to just glue this in place. The doors are fairly warped. I don't know if that's just my kit or if that was a problem with all the Airfix Space Shuttle Series 10s. Um, when you find this looks fine here um there's there's a gap there it's when you go to put the other door on that it doesn't line up in the center one it will want to push one way or the other and then when you finally get the center lined up you've got massive gaps and it just didn't it wasn't symmetrical and it would have meant a lot more puttying and sanding the other problem was, I don't know why Airfix would not manufacture hinges. They've gone through all the trouble of molding out an ESA lab and the cargo bay detail. Um, and there's a Canada arm that, was, that would be attached here. But why, why have all that when you can't open it to show it? The only way to have these is glued closed. And, and it is a weight issue if you're mounting it on a shuttle. It, it adds the right weight, I guess. But, um, so I, I didn't understand that. Uh, and then by, when, I, when I finally got it the way I wanted it, there was so much puttying and, and gaps to fill. Looking at the rest of it, I gave up. And you'll see it doesn't, it doesn't sit even on that uh, plane either. Um, the other problem I had with this was the window. The instructions tell you to assemble this shuttle together um, and then put the window in. In a lot of kits, this is all one piece. The, the, the back uh, window here, the cockpit window here, uh, and this cockpit window, um, they're all one plastic piece up underneath and they just snap in. In the Airfix, they're two separate pieces. This one has a little lever underneath that you can glue up into the top part of the back side of this plastic where this just sits there. There's no excess plastic or, or lever to glue. They want you to glue the sides to this and it just sits there, but it doesn't sit. It wants to fall in. So um, when if you've got an Airfix shuttle, don't assemble the two halves. Um, glue this into one half and then assemble the other one because otherwise you'll be fiddling with it for our for hours trying to get that in. Um, so the Airfix, the Airfix tank and rocket boosters, the, the lack of detail on this I could overcome. I could, I could put some styrene strips in there and I could add the Valspar 
texture spray paint to give it that that foam look that that coating and and that i could i could work with these sorry about the focus guys i could work with that um, but with the shuttle there were just too many challenges to overcome um, so now as you can see it's become a test shuttle for these decals i'll explain these in another video um, there's a lot of work to these decals you can get uh, decals that that uh, mimic the tile the high, high temperature tile, low temperature tile for the space shuttle. Um, and you can get them, I'll mention it in another video, but applying them takes a bit of skill and some patience and you got to know right where to, where to mark. Um, so these were test ones that they sent me and I put them on just to see how they applied and how they fit. And that's why they look messy. It was just a bang, bang up job. Um, and then I use it for testing other things. Focus like uh, how they look with paint underneath them and all that. So um, so this was an abandoned shuttle, which presented me a problem. Uh, the problem now is I have this nice fuel tank and rocket boosters, and I don't have a shuttle. Um, so I needed a, a 1144 scale space shuttle, and I knew that Airfix's kit was not going to do it. I wasn't going to go out and just buy a single Airfix shuttle because I'd probably have the same problems. Um, and as much as I'm not a huge fan of Ravel, they make a 1144 space shuttle. So I went out and I bought one of those um, just from just from Amazon. Um, it's the Atlantis, but it doesn't really matter. It's a 144 shuttle. Um, and I'll, I'll mark it Challenger and I'll do the tile markings like the Challenger. I did... I did solve the problem with buying this and assembling it. And it, it wasn't perfect, but it did go together a lot better than the Airfix one. So this shuttle here, I took and drilled, um, I drilled the mounting holes on the bottom of that shuttle so that it would sit on my external fuel tank and boosters. And no one will know any difference. Um, so that's how I solved that problem. And it went together a lot nicer. Um, so once again, the bay doors, there's always going to be issues um, in every shuttle you do. This one went together fairly nicely. There's still some work to be done here. Um, one thing I cannot seem to get rid of is a bowing on this side and an indent on that side. Um, so it was, it was a bit of toggling back and forth to try to get the gap right here and here and here and then minor sanding and filling to get it to look like this um, am I happy with this yeah, okay it, it, it's a lot better than than what I expected uh, from Ravel um, the one thing I am missing in the Airfix kit with the Ravel is the surface detail um, once again I'm going to mention these decals as ugly as they are because they were they were uh, just not thrown on, but they're, they're not the final product, so mine the decals. Um, but the uh, RCS module in the front is not there on this. It's just plain um, smooth surface. Um, and there's other surface detail that, that's missing on this. This is a basic shuttle. Um, so... Once I got this together, uh, I found myself thinking, you know, if I could take pieces of this shuttle and put them on this shuttle and pieces of this shuttle and put them on this shuttle, I, I would do that. If I could combine the best of both of these, you might get a, you know, pretty good shuttle to put together. But um, so I was able to do that. And once again, mine the tile decals. I'm going to explain those uh, shortly. Uh, I drilled the holes. It mounts onto the tank. The, the weight is the same, um, so it should work out really nicely. Um, so you're probably wondering about these, these tiled decals that you're seeing here. Um, that's I'm going to explain in the second part of the video. Like I said, these are fairly, well, they're bad. Um, they're not the final product, um, but I'll show you what my intention was and what I'm, what I'm doing with it. Um, and also, one thing I will say about the Ravel, I mentioned the windows in the Airfix. The windows in these the clear is that one piece of clear plastic that just snaps up into place and it was a lot easier to work with 
Um, as far as the shape of the windows, I don't think any manufacturer of any shuttle model kit has gotten them right. Um, and, and a lot of people have gone through great pains to, to make their own or to, to, to fill in or styrene in their own windows. I'm not going to be that picky. Um, maybe in another build, I'll, I'll, I'll focus a little bit more on that, like a standalone shuttle build, but for something that's going to sit on the, uh, SRBs and, and external fuel tank, I'm, I'm happy with what, what comes manufactured. Um, and they're masked off. They're not, um, I've got them masked off, which is why they're not clear in, in this video. Um, there is a masking underneath there, which I'll explain in the next part of the video.